All right, hello everybody. This is Shake and Bake from Copy Bug Pace Indie Team, and this is our game, Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox. This is developer update number one for October. It's going to be a video update, and in this update, we're basically going to show you some features uh, in our new and upcoming big build that we're really excited about. We want you to see it, and uh, we want to hear from you guys, hear your thoughts, and also just to show you that we're making some great progress because uh, we want to get this update out to you as soon as we can. We're going to start off first with the water. Uh, we have updated the water in the new build. You can see that right away just from the surface outlooks. And when you get under the water, uh, it looks really, really nice. And we're happy with how that's turning out. We're adding props below the water from seaweed, rocks, and other items. So again, it gives us that realistic look for when you go out into the water. Uh, whether maybe you want to take a swim or maybe take your boat out there, whatever. Uh, but the other thing we've done is when you go underwater, we've also worked on player movement. It's a lot uh, more realistic movement when you're underwater, whether you're going backwards, sideways, you know, down or up, uh, much better, much improved. And the other thing is when you're at the surface, you can kind of actually look underwater below you and above the surface. Really a nice effect there. We're really happy how it's turned out. And the other thing is we want you to know is once this build goes out, we're, you know, we're going to keep working on the build. Uh, but one of the things, the water will be actually uh, updated in the future to even better water uh, with, you know, waves, you know, white caps. It's just going to look really, really good. Uh, before we get in the vehicle, I just want to point out, you can start to see we're adding more props into the world. Uh, we're trying to make sure they look right, that they fit in, a uh, nice level of detail. And again, that's just kind of to bring uh, the world, the sandbox to life. Let's go ahead and jump in the vehicle. I'm going to show you. Uh, some other things that we're really excited about and we want you to know about. Now, to bring this world to life, obviously we don't want to be empty. So part of this is adding in uh, foliage, you know, the gra from grass, a variety of grass, bushes, but also new trees. You can see uh, we've got a, quite a bit more trees already going into the game. And the other is when you run into a tree, it, now it will stop you. So we want to make sure that uh, when you're out driving or flying or whatever you're doing, you know, if you run into a boulder or a tree, you know, it's going to stop your vehicle. And so that's the other thing we're making sure of. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to go up to the building area because we're also, let's hopefully I don't crash here. There we go. We're making some changes up there as well. Remember, this is all a work in progress. So eventually when this build comes out, there's going to be a lot more in this and, and you know, other adjustments that are made uh, that are needed. So one thing as I'm driving there, I'll tell you this right now, is the handling of the vehicles is really, really being worked on. And you can already notice in the driving of this car, if you have homebrew now, you'll notice I'm not flipping over or sliding down the road. We've really concentrated on the physics of the vehicles. We're going to keep doing that, tweaking it, uh, and it's always going to be a work in progress. But you're, I think you're really going to enjoy the progress we've made on the vehicle handling. Okay, let's go ahead and turn into the building area here. You can see where you know we're adding roads in here, and they're looking really. I mean, looking really, really good. And again, if you if you have the game now, you'll notice the handling of my vehicle is handling really, really well. I'm going to show you real quick a sneak peek of the work in progress on the new hangar. And again, level of detail. We're going to start adding these props in there. You know, the level of detail of this like workbench. You know, you can see that right there. Just looks really good and we're making sure this area is going to be big enough for you to build those larger vehicles okay got the runway here those lights do light up at night uh, you can use that runway to land and take off from looks really good and now i want to show you something over here before we head to the next area we want to show you is just things like this these props that are going into the world again to bring it to life we have a um, helipad over here you could land, you know, your helicopters on, Harrier jets, whatever you can dream of and build that you want to land there, you can do it. And that's what the uh, homebrew vehicle sandbox is about, is the freedom uh, to build pretty much whatever you want to build and do with it whatever you want to do, whether that's uh, a realistic looking vehicle, whether that's um, something that replicates real life. Uh, really, you know, our, our motto is to dream, build, and enjoy. And that's what we want people to do in this game. 
I'm going to head to the next feature that's coming in the big build that we think people really are going to enjoy. And that is this new, whether you want to call it a, a super highway, a racetrack, whatever. But basically this area where you could come out here and drive your vehicles, race them uh, either by yourself or race against other people in multiplayer. This is really coming together really nicely. Uh, there's basically two tracks out here. You've got this lower track and an upper track, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, the upper track really has some seriously banked turns uh, for those high-speed vehicles. And as you can see, it's starting to get darker. We do have a day-night cycle that will be in the new build. Uh, you can see the lights starting to come on. Let's go ahead and cross over here. Moon's coming up. It's just, I mean, it looks gorgeous. We're really happy with how the lighting's turned out. Uh, the skybox, all of those kind of effects are really coming together. Let's see if I can get over there, guys. Oh, here we go. And, like, here's one of these banks. I mean, you, it's just a, I mean, a lot of fun. If you're, you're racing your friends, you know, up on this bank, you can just imagine, you know, you're cutting each other off, whatever, flying into the water below. Uh, this is just the start of the kind of activities we want to add to this new build. Uh, for whether it be racing cars, uh, whether it be flying planes, racing boats, uh, this is just the start of it. Just to, you know, for you guys to see that uh, we want to provide you with things to do with your vehicles once you build them. Let me get around this corner and then I'll uh, wrap this up. So basically, uh, improved water, uh, improved player movement. You're going to really enjoy that. Um, the lighting, the skybox, all of that stuff, foliage, trees, and bringing this world to life with more props. Uh, this uh, racetrack, uh, super highway, whatever you want to call it. All of these things being added and more. More is coming uh, to include, obviously, the building area. We'll do a video on that as well. Let me go ahead and get out of this vehicle. To include um, the building area, how the new uh, UI system, pipes, all of that stuff we will be showcasing in the near future. So this has been Shake and Bake. On behalf of Copy Bug, Pace Indie Team, and Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox, we thank you guys for the support. Look forward to your questions, and uh, we will see you guys uh, in the future with future updates. Cheers, peace.